You've been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. Hi, I'm Linda Watson Call. Thank you for taking the time to join me in this week's episode of Dragonfly Soup. I hope you're enjoying these episodes as much as I enjoy creating them. So please show your support of the program by clicking like right now. And if you think somebody could benefit from this episode, then please share it with them and let's get the message out. My shout out this week goes to Andrew. Andrew is a subscriber and has been watching Dragonfly Soup for quite a few months now. He tells me that he looks forward to every week's episode and shares them with his friends. Thanks, Andrew. So, how was your week? Did you enjoy it or did you just manage to get through it? If you're like most people I know, you're in the middle of why isn't it spring yet? When will this cold go away? And I certainly hope I don't catch whatever it is that you have. The news just reinforces this attitude with up-to-the-minute updates on how many people have come down with the flu and how sick everybody is. It's certainly a challenge to stay positive and healthy when we're bombarded with all these facts of life. Maybe we can't do anything about the media except maybe shut it off or at least try to minimize our exposure to it. But we can, however, choose how we interpret what we see and what we hear. We can select our words when describing a situation we're experiencing. We can decide on how we will feel about the outcome, even if it isn't the result that we're looking for. So here's how we do it. First, stop trying. Yeah, you heard me. Stop trying. You see, whenever you say you're trying, you are really telling yourself that this may or may not happen. In fact, you're almost predicting failure. I'm trying to not get sick. Well, let's look at that. You're trying. So you're really not in total belief that you're going to stay healthy. And not get sick? You, your mind automatically eliminates the not words and focuses on get sick. So you're being confirmed that you will be getting sick. Instead, change it around to, I stay healthy by eating properly and getting enough rest. Now, not only will you be more likely to stay healthy, but you are telling yourself that you eat the right foods and you get rest. You're programming your being to do the right things. Never mind the high odds of getting the flu. You've got yourself down to minimal chances. Do this every time you're tempted to say try or trying. Change, I'm trying to get better grades, to I am studying every night to raise my grade. Change, I'm trying to complete this project on time, to I'm devoting four hours every day to this project so it will be done ahead of schedule. Or change, I'm trying to lose weight, to I'm eating more fruits and vegetables, I'm at my optimal weight. Next, you don't have to do anything. Yep, you heard me right. You don't have to, but you do get to, and that is a whole different thing. You feel when you have to do something that you're defeated. You feel that you're forced to do something. You feel that it's not your choice. Okay, maybe it's not your choice, but changing how you think about it will change how you feel about it. They're predicting more snow this week. Yippee, right? And we're not cheering for another snow day either. So instead of saying, I have to shovel the walk again, change it to, I'll shovel that walk right away, and then I get to go sledding with my friends. You see, the words have to can make anything into a drudgery. I've never heard anybody say, ugh, I have to go to the beach today or I have to take that trip to Vail to go skiing. Never. So if you turn any activity into a get to, you create some excitement about doing it. Yes, every morning I get up and I look at my calendar and I say, today I get to teach science in the middle school, or I get to play with the preschoolers today. 
Make every day into a get-to day and watch how much more enjoyment you'll get out of doing whatever needs to be done. And then finally, stop criticizing yourself when things don't go the right way. The great movie that you want to see with your friends turned out to be anything but great. Well, you can't change the movie, so don't beat yourself up for going, but instead focus on the fun that you had with your friends, even if most of the fun was making fun of that movie. So, let's say you walk into class and find out that there's a science test today. You thought it was tomorrow, and your stomach starts to hurt because you're not prepared. Now first, relax. Anxiety always creates stress, and stress keeps you from focusing on everything that you really know. So make the best choices for the answers on the test, and then use this as a learning moment to take better notes in your planner, or at least consult with your planner in the evening instead of leaving everything to chance. Next time, you'll be better prepared. Louise Hayes, an American motivational author and the founder of Hay House, once wrote, You've been criticizing yourself for years, and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself, and then see what happens. The funny thing is, regardless of how you talk to yourself, you will always get what you talk about. So, if you say you're trying instead of doing, then you'll get more trying results, and nothing will ever really happen. If you have to, instead of get to, you'll end up with more have to's in your life. And you'll wonder why everyone else gets to have more fun. And if you keep disappointing yourself, well, you'll keep on being disappointed. So instead, join me in doing more, getting more, and being more, no matter what happens. In turn, you will have better things happening to you and for you in your life. So tell me, either in a comment below or in a message, how you plan to change your thinking so that you will get, do, and have more of what you want in your life. Be sure to click like for today's episode, and while you're at it, share it with your friends. You might also want to check out our gift shop, where you can purchase items like dragonfly soup, t-shirts, hoodies, and other gifts. The link is below. Or you can show your support for this program by clicking the support link below. Any contribution to help this series will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next week, right here on Dragonfly Soup. Here's to our transformation and our best year ever.